uh, involved herself in efforts to have my protest shut down by Merci beaucoup. <laughs> so, uh, just got the On est avec vous. We are with you from the woman in this couple uh, walking by here. That is an affirmation of my protest. And uh, I actually do get uh, quite a number of affirmations of my protest from the general public. So, uh, that was. Uh, the first one today. Oh no, actually, I think I got a couple of hawks actually earlier when I was writing my chalk slogans and I didn't have the uh, the uh, <coughs> camera running because I rarely run it when I'm actually writing the chalk slogans because that's extra boring. Um, yeah, there was at least uh, one clearly affirmative hawk. You know, it wasn't a traffic hawk. You know, I can d distinguish between those hawks that are for traffic purposes and those which are, you know, quite obviously intended to. Uh, express approval for my protest. Um, so yes, there was, you know, so, so far one honk and one positive comment this morning. And, uh, and yes, I think most <coughs> sane people, you know, in Canada and North America to say nothing of the rest of the world, you know, if they knew all the facts of, you know, exactly why I'm protesting would say, yes, we're with you. You know, regardless of, you know, their, their background. You know, the only people who seem to be, you know, disapproving of my protest are obviously Unitarian Universalists, uh, and then the occasional member of the public who thinks you shouldn't protest in front of a church for any reason whatsoever kind of thing, you know, or who has bought into the goody two-shoes image of the Unitarian Universalist uh, religious community's propaganda um, and, you know, believes that Unitarian Universalists can do no wrong, you know, and that therefore nobody should be protesting against, you know, anything done by Unitarian Universalists. Um, so that's really the only two kinds of people who express disapproval for my protest. Well, maybe three kinds of people, but... Uh, but nonetheless, you know, primarily Montreal Unitarians, obviously, and other Unitarian Universalists who visit the Unitarian Church of Montreal express disapproval for my protest, sometimes stealing my picket signs, sometimes physically assaulting me, uh, certainly insulting me here and there, um, <clears throat> and so on. And sometimes not even, you know, any of that. Like, like uh, you know, once, just a couple of weeks ago, a guy came out of the church and he simply said, you know I can't agree with you, or something like that. You know, so just a kind of a you know, dismissive response, but not insulting me, just, just, uh, just saying, oh, you know I can't agree with you. So uh, because uh, part of what I'm protesting against actually is abusive and insulting uh, behavior by Unitarian Universalists, including Unitarian Universalist clergy, such as Reverend Dr. Victoria Weinstein and uh, uh, Reverend, uh, what's her name, Kane, Cynthia Kane, um, and various other rather offensive and rude uh, um, Unitarian Universalists, I, uh, I actually responded to his uh, willful ignorance and uh, psychological denial by telling him he had his head up his ass because uh, the Unitarian Universalist Association has expressly approved, or, or at least tacitly approved, uh, Reverend Dr. Victoria Weinstein's use of the term asshat to describe a Republican state senator. Um, Reverend Dr. Victoria Weinstein referred to South Dakota State Senator Bill Napoli as a crazy asshat because she believed, you know, that he was willfully ignorant and, and so on. That's what ass hat means. It means someone who's got their head up their ass, someone who has their ass as a hat. Um, and uh, so this behavior by Reverend Dr. Victoria Weinstein was all but officially approved by the Unitarian Universalist Association. So I don't feel obliged to always be polite with Unitarian Universalists who choose to wallow in the 
willful ignorance and psychological, you know, you know, quite especially when they clearly behave in a manner that uh, is symptomatic of psychological denial and willful ignorance. I don't mind using the term asshat or saying you've got your head up your ass uh, in response to that, um, since apparently it is quite acceptable for Unitarian Universalist ministers to do so. If Unitarian Universalist ministers can say you've got your head up your ass, you're a crazy asshat, well then I guess everyone else can, can't they? That's what's called equity. I believe the sequin, second principle of Unitarian Universalism is justice, equity, and compassion in human relations. And equity means fairness. In fact, more specifically, it means equal treatment. So again, if, 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 if it's acceptable for Reverend Dr. Victoria Weinstein and other Unitarian Universalist ministers to you know, name call people crazy ass hats, then, uh, then it's acceptable for everyone else to do so. So uh, I do occasionally use those terms. Who knows, maybe I'll, you know, I don't think I've used ass hats in uh, Chalk's Logan yet. Maybe I'll get around to doing that. Maybe I'll even put it on a picket sign. Uh, generally speaking, I try to keep the uh, picket sign slogans uh, and, uh, and uh, Chalk's slogans, you know, pretty factual and not a whole lot of uh, insults uh, in the, uh, slogan themselves, although they can be pretty hard-hitting. Unitarians cover up child sex abuse. Very truthful statement, unfortunately. Atheist you use are accusing me of blasphemy. So obviously you, asterisk you, can be seen as a kind of graphic uh, representation of an asshole between two buttocks. Uh, we can thank uh, Canadian Unitarian Council Executive Director Mary Bennett for inserting Kurt Vonnegut Jr.'s picture of an asshole between the two U's of Unitarian Universalism to uh, symbolize the inclusiveness of Unitarian Universalism. You know, like, come right in. <laughs> so anyhow, this happened in uh, late 2003 as a kind of a Christmas present, or perhaps I should say an Xmas present. Uh, the executive director of the Canadian Unitarian Council quite unilaterally decided that she would insert an asterisk or an ass to risk between the two U's of Unitarian Universalism in the UU acronym. And the purpose of this asterisk was to symbolize the inclusiveness of Unitarian Universalism. And it was also intended to represent the concept of and or both. In other words, you, you could be Unitarian Universalist or Unitarian, uh, sorry, Unitarian Universalist or Universalist Unitarian um, or any combination thereof. That was part of the idea. Um, and, but she specifically, you know, also wanted it to represent inclusiveness. Well, there's nothing like an asshole to represent inclusiveness, is there? Um, anyhow, I've had a lot of fun with that uh, since I discovered it. I actually only discovered it some years later. I don't know how it escaped my attention through uh, pretty much all of 2004 and 2005. You now, maybe it took a while to gain some traction, you know, when Unitarians were using you, asterisk you, to, uh, to describe this. Oh, and the best part was they also referred to Unitarian Universalism as the U asterisk U movement. So the ass movement, or you could just extend that to the bowel movement as it were. Um, so that was quite funny too. Um, so I had a lot of fun mocking the Unitarian Universalists for this, uh, for this use of Kurt Vonnegut Jr.'s picture of an asshole. Maybe they should have accused me of uh, blasphemous libel for this mocking of their acronym. You know, it would have had probably a better chance of gaining a conviction and then uh, accusing me of blasphemous libel for bl blogging about their pedophiles and rapists. Um, in fact, the only circumstance under which I could be guilty of blasphemous libel for blogging about Unitarian Universalist pedophiles and rapists is if uh, such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape are considered to be uh, sacred and holy to Unitarian Universalism. I don't think they thought that legal bullying 
through very much uh, before engaging in it. So again, had a bit of fun with that. You know, I, I knew this very early on. I knew that, uh, that essentially in accusing me of blasphemous libel for blog posts that speak somewhat critically of Unitarian Universalist uh, pedophiles and rapists, um, that uh, it, it essentially implied, you know, logically, that, uh, you know, such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape are held to be sacred and holy to Unitarian Universalism, at least when they are committed by certain Unitarian Universalist ministers. So, as I said, I knew this quite early on after being served, uh, but I, I think more than a year later, maybe even as much as two years later, finally got around to asking that question of uh, Maitre Marc-Andre Coulomb, the UUA's Canadian attorney, and uh, needless to say, asked the same question to top-level UUA leadership. Um, I still haven't got an answer to that question yet, so who knows, you know, maybe, maybe Unitarian Universals actually do have some kind of hidden secret doctrine that we don't know about, which uh, holds such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape, at least when committed by certain Unitarian Universalist ministers, to be uh, sacred and holy to Unitarian Universalism. Wouldn't that be something? <coughs> see what we got here. Coming up to the end of a half hour uh, segment of video. It's supposed to be an extremely hot day today. It's supposed to get up to the high 30s and possibly low 40s with the humidity index, uh, but so far uh, it's actually got a cool breeze and uh, and it's not that hot, you know, even in direct sunlight it's not that bad. So uh, basically quite enjoyable day to be protesting for the time being. Let's just see how we're doing with the video here. Yeah, almost done, got about 20 seconds left, so I'm just going to let the video uh, wrap up and uh, then I'm going to let the sensor cool down a bit because it is, you know, the camera's in the direct sunlight so it might get overheated more than I do. So uh, I'll just let the sensor cool and then start up a fresh uh, segment. And here we are. It's just... Uh